am Ed Vasquez, I'm a science curriculum developer at Indian River State College. For today's lesson, we're going to be using aluminum bolts uh, to be able to show the Archimedes principles. Students will be building this particular boat out of aluminum foil. This particular process is very important in the fact that students will be able to use independent research as well as gain an in-depth knowledge to the scientific method, which is very important in the new GED. Students will be able to use the STEM approach in order to show their engineering and also their creativity skills. All of the information for this particular lesson are included in your website. For today's lesson, we need a container with water, aluminum foil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a triple beam balance, and of course, our pennies. Let's have some fun. I'd like to show you your procedure that you'll be following to build the aluminum boats today. I also like to show you the hole types that the students will be learning about. And this is the boat journal that the students are required to complete at the end of the assignment. And also like to show you the lab report that the students will be required to complete at the end of the lesson. All of these materials are available in the website. All right, let's build the boat. With a piece of aluminum foil, you would like to measure an area of about 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. And of course, you will use your pencil or your marker and you will make a square in which you will make all those dimensions. After you do that, you basically want to fold your boat, the aluminum foil, all the way up to your margin. And you'll do that for four sides until you get your square. After you do this, you want to fold the corners so that you can have four nicely shaped corners. So let me show you how I fold my corners. I take the aluminum foil and I bring the left side as well as the right side and I kind of move them up this way so they're nicely creased. All right. After I do this, I come up with the final product and I'd like to show you what the final product looks like. All right, so now let's go ahead and test the boat. Let's go put it in the water. And now we just want to start adding pennies to see how many pennies does the boat hold before it sinks. And as we count, we try to distribute the weight of the boat, of the pennies, all over the hull of the boat. And you want to continue to do this until you have achieved at least 100 pennies into the boat. However, this is an engineering project, so the students will be challenged to make their boats better and better three times. Now what the students are going to do is they're going to utilize their boat journal to be able to enter all of their data in the boat journal. Now that the students have completed or entered their data into the boat journal, the students are going to enter their data into Excel in order for them to create a graph of all their trials. And this is what the graph looks like. Once the students finish entering their data into Excel, they will be able to start writing a lab report. And the lab report looks like this. In this particular activity, students were able to do research and learn the process of the scientific method. Let's get back to our boat that we built before. My student was able to do extensive research in which she combined ingenuity, creativity, and engineering design to have this boat hold 275 pennies. How did she do it? 
she inserted air into the hull of this particular boat. So, in closing, this is a great and fun project to learn about the scientific process, to show creativity and ingenuity, and learn and have fun at the same time. So how about it? If you're interested, go to the website and download it. Thank you for tuning in to these GED Grab and Goes. These video segments are designed to give you, our teachers, information and ideas that you may use in the classroom as you're preparing your students for the new test. Stay tuned because there's more coming your way.